Coarctation of the aorta is when the aorta is pinched or constricted. Um, this obstructs blood flow to the lower body and increases blood pressure in the upper body. Um, this and is usually found near the ductus arteriosus. Right here. Um, it ups, um, it makes it hard for the, uh, the heart to pump blood to the lower body because it has, to, it has to pass this narrow part in order to get down to, to the body, the lower body. And it increases blood pressure in the upper body because, um, because the lower body isn't getting enough blood with oxygen and nutrients, um, the blood, um, the heart has to pump harder to try to get enough blood down there. So all the parts of the body that are above the narrowed part, so all the parts that go upwards to the upper body, has an increased blood pressure. So that would be your neck, your head, your brain, um, as well as others. There are some risk factors um, for this defect. So if your baby has bicus bicuspid aortic valve, which is uh, an aortic valve that has two cusps instead of the normal three, or they ha if they have a patent ductus arteriosus or an atrial or ventric uh, ventricular septal defect, or an aortic valve stenosis when the aortic valve is narrowed. Um, aortic valve regurgitation when blood ca blood can leak through the aortic valve or mitral valve stenosis when the mitral valve is narrowed or mitral valve regurgitation when blood can leak through the mitral valve or Turner syndrome which is um, in girls their um, 46X chromosome is either missing or incomplete so they end up with only Either only 45 chromosomes or 46, but the 46 one is incomplete. Um, some treatment methods for coarctation of aorta include surgery. Um, one method is the re resection with end-to-end -end anastomosis. So this is when you remove the narrowed portion of the aorta and you connect the two ends together again. So in this diagram, it would be this, this one here, A. As you can see, they remove the narrowed portion here and then they stitched, um, stitched the two ends back together to make an aorta that can have blood flow through it properly. Another type of surgery is the subclavian flap aortoplasty, which is when a portion of the left subclavian artery, the artery that brings blood to your left arm, is used to expand the narrowed area. So, yeah, and then another type of surgery is the bypass graft repair. It's when the um, you create a bypass around the narrowed area by inserting a plastic tube between the portions. So this picture here, you can see the white tube here that goes past the narrowed area so blood can flow. And then another type of surgery, which is the patch aortoplasty, is when you cut across the narrowed area and attach a patch of synthetic material to widen it. So it would be this one here, as you can see, they cut open the narrowed part and they put a patch to widen the artery. And I forgot to mention that the subclavian flat aortoplasty looks like this, where they use part of your subclavian artery to repair the narrowed part. Oops. So yeah, this is the subclavian artery here. This long artery going to your arm. Another type of treatment is the balloon angioplasty or 
with stenting. Um, this is when a balloon on a catheter widens the artery. It enters the body through the groin and it can also insert a stent which is this um, this structure here that keeps um, it's a mesh covered hollow tube which keeps the artery widened and prevents it from uh, narrowing again so that can also help